With programs on the rise, such as SpaceX and Space Force, it's easy to forget about NASA and its impacts on Florida history. The space race started with the end of World War II and the Cold War. After the war ended, several German scientists were brought to America to work on rockets. One notable person, Werner von Braun, who was one of the head of the Nazi rocket programs. With his help, the United States was able to create its space program. The Soviet Union also got their hands on some rocket scientists, and with tensions already high due to the Cold War, the space race was launched. On October 4th, 1957, the Soviet Union was the first nation to successfully launch a satellite into space, followed by a November 3rd launch which carried a dog named Laika into space, making it the first living being to cross the threshold. The United States entered the space race with Explorer 1 on January 31, 1958. Ten months later, the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, or NASA, was created. A little known fact, the USSR was the first country to reach the moon's orbit with Luna 1. The rocket had too much speed and ended up being projected out of the moon's orbit and launched towards the sun. However, with the successful launch of Luna 2, the USSR landed a spacecraft on the surface of the moon. The U.S. continued to build better and better rockets, but they were falling behind in the space race. Tensions were high. Neither side wanted to lose, and on April 12, 1961, the first man was sent into space, and he was Russian. This was a devastating blow to the U.S., but they didn't let it stop them. By May of that same year, America had its first man in space. The space race continued like this until July 20th, 1970. On that day, Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin became the first men to walk on the moon. The spaceship launched from Cape Canaveral. While there were many locations throughout the United States that were home to rocket research, Florida had Cape Canaveral Air Force Base. The Space Center, which was ultimately named the Kennedy Space Center after JFK was assassinated, was home to a large number of launches, and on nearby Merritt Island, NASA was born. Development boomed as the space program grew. Cape Canaveral was once a sparse place with only the Air Force Base, which was one of the reasons they moved the space program there in the first place. The vast emptiness and proximity to water allowed them to freely test rockets and missiles. Due to the limited amount of space surrounding the Air Force Base, scientists, researchers, and families lived in the surrounding areas. With the influx in the population, cities grew up around the base. Retail centers, shopping complexes, art galleries, and various forms of entertainment were created for the scientists and their families. It wasn't just the scientists that caused the surrounding areas to grow. Workers, builders, cooks, business owners, and all of their families moved to the up-and-coming cities. Over the decades, the once barren lands developed into Florida's own Silicon Valley with major corporations like SpaceX and Lockheed Martin. The future is bright for Cape Canaveral, the cost of living is significantly lower than Silicon Valley, and the companies are continuing to realize the potential. Over the next 20 years, we predict a significant increase in real estate value with a major influx in population driven by the technology companies and the Kennedy Space Center.